touchdown, a two-point conversion, and now an onside kick. And the Browns are able to cover this one up. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not yet. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Pass the 20, 10, touchdown, Browns. David Njoku, 41 yards. And the Browns move back within a couple of the lead. And on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. On first and ten, Mayfield. This is caught. Touchdown. The touchdown pass, Mayfield to Landry. And the Browns have taken the lead. So that pretty good. To me, when punting was the only decision to make, and it backfired on him in a big way. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. Looking to throw, Prescott forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Possible earlier in this first quarter, going for it on fourth. They're going to try a second time. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. A five-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. And got his man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Well, I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and then turns up field. Yeah. Downs have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. And a big loss here as he's taken down. From the other side of town, it's second and a country mile. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And this is going to double their room to maneuver. Able to... Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Well, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And he'll take... There, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. And sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. Prescott looks to throw on first. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And now off to the races, down you know the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Get it, Coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Mayfield's throw pulled in by Schwartz. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. About two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. Now, all of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? What 
they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and one. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good to begin the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah! And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Browns are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Movement in this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Mayfield. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Prescott. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it. And that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Here's Dak. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. Play in the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Mayfield. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And got his man complete. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it.